direct your attention to uh, the simplicity of a $140 million deal. That $140 million deal by the courts, the, uh, the last person, the people they want to step in and be part of the development issue um, before it gets off the ground would be the Army Corps of Engineers. This is why I think that they're leaving the footprint of the structure in place. The footprint, the outer walls. So yes, they could take those wa outer walls out, but it's, uh, they know that once they pull those walls out, it's just land at that point. Now the Army Corps of Engineers will have to have impact statements, etc. But if you leave those walls there, <clears throat> then uh, you get to work with a footprint. You get to work with, with the footprint, and now you can ask for a little bit of a waiver to go further, like the other property next door, things like that. But if you kill that footprint, if you pull those, pull those foundations out, the walls, all of, them, all of them together, and take it back to sand, you've got a, a vacant lot, and that might take a much longer time to proceed into development stages. Um, so that footprint really matters. The sewage hookup that's already there really matters. Utilities are still there. They really matter. So um, I don't see where they'd want to get rid of that footprint at this time. They can develop on it, build on it, if the Army Corps of Engineers gives them, gives them some leeway to some degree. Now, there is a protected spot, hot spot beach renourishment construction program going on. I have contacted the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. They're all because of COVID, the federal government. Uh, you, you write them emails. So I've written written them, and I'm waiting for replies. I did put the reply, I wrote a message out there that, look, if you, don't, uh, if you don't get back to me and correct my statement, then the statement will stand. So they know what my statement will be that I'm saying, stating to you now. So if they don't get back to me and change it, uh, the statement will stand at the Army Corps of Engineers will, if they remove the wall system, will be able to step in and uh, put, their, uh, put their foot down on how that site is developed. But right now, I think uh, it's just a remodel. Yes, it's all gone, but the walls, but it's still a remodel. That's still a construction remodel under, under Surfside's building codes, probably. Um, interesting enough, you click on Surfside, and you get this district, uh, Jacksonville district website. If I go back by one, let's go back. The, the, the floor below. Where does it hit the floor below? Hold on. It hits it. At Sorry, I, had, I, I, I told him that uh, it was something else. Um, so let me go back one. So if you go back one, you see here's the different counties. Shore protection links. Interesting enough, you click Surfside and you get, you get this dead nothing. You get this. Uh, but if you hit Miami, which is right there, Miami uh, Beach Hotspots, now all of a sudden you'll get um, you'll get the hotspots, which we know this is uh, one one door over. So you get let's see the furthest north. This is Indian Beach. This is 27th, 55. Um, hmm. Wait a minute. Yeah. So let's try 55. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, yep. Yeah. So that's the protected zone or the hot spot. The turtles and things like that, they're, they're worried about. And so we cross into Oceanside Plaza. So you can you can go down this hot rabbit hole if you want and, and see it. But you can see that, look at this, for example, construction access. Um, this is for re re rehabilitation of the of the uh, sands, etc. That they are adding in um, beach fill template. Yeah, that they are adding in some um, some soil, uh, soil, some sand, and they tell you where they source it from. Let's see if it's over here once. Okay, right here. So, what is the purpose of this project? What is the beach uh, renourishment program? And you see it's Miami-Dade, erosion control, hurricane protection. Um, Surfside, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in coordination with Miami-Dade County and the town of Surfside will place approximately 330,000 cubic yards of beach quality sand hauled by truck from an upland mine, so it comes from a mine, to renourish the public beach in Surfside. In Surfside, it is important to note that these are approximate figures pending contracting and permitting. 
All right, so this is the Army Corps of Engineers going to work there. So you can imagine how critical that that area is there. Hey, what's up? Yes. All right, guys. All right, guys, I'll take care. I'll get back to you.